This is Climber André Le Nôtre. So, it exists in, in the regular Dwarf version and in Climber version. It's a fairly old variety from, from the Mayon company, but basically look at those big flowers and oh my god, one of the best fragrance ever in roses. So it's a really big rose. Yes, for sure, the, the, um, the resistance to rain is not the best. It's not the best performer for, for rain, but it's just amazing, the big flowers like that. So basically test it in your place. If it doesn't go, I'm sorry for you, but for the people that can grow that plant, please enjoy the fragrance and the huge blooms on it. Okay, it's is Sabrina. It's one of our toughest small climber white. As you can see, the flowers, when they are in bud, quite small. But actually, after it goes to bloom, it's huge. It's a scented flower, and really this is resistant. With the climber, there's always something to do that is important. The first year, you need to take those long shoots and to process like this, put it vertical. So basically, you horizontal, sorry. You have to put it horizontal. And so basically, you will have the flowers going everywhere on that stem. Take care of your climbers. Climbers are a little bit technical to, to do, so you can have more blooms on it. And as you can see, every stem with the bloom is quite long stem. So you can use also those as a cut flower. Okay, this one is incredible. It's Mini Eden Rose, not Mimi Eden. Mimi Eden Rose, Mini Pierre de Ronsard. And so you can see that it's a climber, it's a real climber. You can see the big shoots over there. And you can see that it gives you really a sense of Eden Rose type rose. You can cut it also and use it as a bouquet. You can put it as a big climber or you can put it as a bush. We do it as a bush because it's more simple for us to breed on it. It's a low type of, uh, of plants, so basically we can do the breeding. But this goes up to three meter, and we call it Mini Eden Rose, Mini Pierre de Ronsard, because it does look like Eden Rose and Pierre de Ronsard. I hope you will enjoy it, because this is a great addition to the Pierre de Ronsard family. Just a quick note on Pierre de Ronsard, Eden Rose. You can use it also as a regular plantation. You, do, you don't have to use it as a climber. So basically you will have flowers at the level of like basically your level. And instead of going down, you can see that the flowers are fairly good. They're staying up. This is the most important thing. If you bring it up, the flower will go down. If you leave it like that, the flower will stand up. So it's really nice to have it like that. And you can enjoy it in bouquet because you will have some small stems that you can cut and make special bouquet in your house. Beautiful Pierre de Ronsard, really well known, but a new way of using it, so that's interesting. This is one of the original plants from my grandma time. Basically, that's where my grandmother, my father, my aunt, my wife and I are doing breeding. And that, we never changed it, is the original plant of Pierre de Ronsard Eden Rose. So, what you see is a lot of dead wood because we don't really take care of it. But as you can see, it keeps blooming. And it blooms now in spring, but it will rebloom during the summer and it will rebloom after in, in the fall. You can see that we can treat Pierre de Ronsard as a dwarf plant or we can treat it as a climber. It doesn't require much training to do it. You just have to do it well done. And look at this beautiful flower. This is so original. I mean, it's the rose of the roses. Just one thing, missing fragrance. We are working on it right now. Jean Mus, beautiful, beautiful Jean Mus. Look 
how many live there is. There's only one plant. It's like six, seven years old, and it took the whole tree. One plant. It's just amazing. Look how many petals there's on the floor, but there's still some blooms on it. It's just an amazing plant. Please enjoy the view. Midland. You see Colossal, it's so big, it's the father of Scarlet Bonica and basically it's one of the favorite rows of a lot of our friends. It's really red, really big, really huge Midland rose, tough, there's nothing in it. Basically it grow, grow, grow and then after five or six years you cut it back down and it will grow back again to that size. It can grow as a climber or you can use it as a hedge like this or you can trim it every year to contain it. But basically the power on this plant is red, big and disease resistance. 